There is a legendary Spear of Leonidas in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, like an actual item with stats and a description. So let's take a look at that in this video, it's very interesting. Plus Sargon is selling an awesome item that you totally want to get before it's gone. We got a new quest line, discovery tour info and way more. I also want to give an update on the XP glitch because it's not working for some people. There are some ways to make it work though. So let's get into it. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. Before we get into it, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Raid Shadow Legends. It's a mega hit, a phenomena, a blockbuster. It's pretty insane how popular this game is. Get real, raw, dark, epic and awesome with this brand new collection RPG. Raid Shadow Legends has more than 10 million players that enjoy the game worldwide in less than 6 months. The game features awesome dungeons with cool looking bosses that all require different tactics to take out. So you have to select your team wisely from the over 400 champions that are available and those champions look very detailed as you see right here. My favorite right now is actually Inifue Blood Twin, the first legendary that I got. He's very very strong especially in the arena where you battle against teams from other players it's one of the activities that I like to do a lot. The game is totally free and has an almost perfect score in the Play Store after more than 300,000 reviews. And it's growing super fast as well. Check out this cool roadmap they published. They have huge plans for updates for the next 6 months and there's an infinite amount of content for you to enjoy. No time to get bored. So totally go to the video description, click on the special link and get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring the video, it really helps the channel out. And now let's get back into it. Some of you noticed that in my previous video talking about the leaked new armor set and mounts that will release likely somewhere this month, that Lexar's Games also had the legit Spear of Leonidas in his inventory menu as a legendary item. Mamun on Twitter followed up with this video from Lexar's Games and I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Either way, here we see him actually getting the item by doing some tricks on the PC and it's very very good. It namely has melee resistance and that is sick for a weapon so then you can easily get to the 100% melee resistance and with 100% you do not get hit from a melee attack as we discussed in a previous video. And it also has crit chance and that's pretty insane, a spear with crit chance. There's one more in the game from a Lost Tales of Greece mission, the Divine Intervention, you see it right here in a video from It's Jordan Dust. Also a link to his channel is in the description. So yes, this legendary spear of Leonidas is very, very powerful. No legendary perk, which is of course strange, but it does not matter with these two common perks. We of course already know what it looks like thanks to that glitch where if you do the Ares Madness before the end of a story creator mode quest or before going to one of the DLC worlds that you will then see it over any other weapon that you're currently using. This bug is by the way still in the game so if you want to run around and use the Spear of Leonidas then you can still do it. But no clue if he will actually get the legendary weapon for real. It does have a description though. Leonidas used this spear as though it was an extension of his own arm. He held total control. Someone wrote this. So I think that it was first the idea to add this weapon to the game. But then they thought otherwise. I think I already mentioned this. But I actually asked Bruno after the glitch where we could like see the spear as a visual look. If it was something we could get in the game as well well and he said no but that was before I knew that they actually made a legit item for it interesting stuff but sadly I think not something we will see again you can still run around with the spear though just not have the pretty awesome stats there is a new quest line out in Odyssey for everyone it's actually the final Lost Tales of Greece mission where you will meet the wife of Socrates and the first the choice option sums up my reaction perfectly too now what I would say totally go and play this free quest it sadly does not feature a trophy or achievement like the previous Lost Tales of Greece missions but obviously it's still fun to play through this one. Fun fact by the way Jordan Lemos still worked on this one before going to Sucker Punch to work on the PS4 exclusive Ghost of Tsushima. He left Ubisoft in May and this was actually the last thing he worked on so it gives you an idea how far ahead they work to make these types of missions. You can start it near Sargon over here on the map you have to at least progress a little bit through the main story to access it. 
but I think that at this point you are likely far enough. This mission sadly does not give you the cool leaked unicorn mount with the wings. We still have no clue how this will be added to the game, how we can earn it. Some said maybe a Twitch Prime promotion or that if you play Odyssey through the new Uplay Plus service on the PC, that that is how you can get it. Just some speculation, but we have no clear answer yet. When we know more, I'll of course let you know here. And speaking of mounts, the Lava Horse is now on sale till September 10th at Sargon. It's a pretty cool mount to get for 100 Ori Kalkum, so buy it if you don't have it already. It was actually on sale in March this year too, but if you missed it, then you can get it right now. You get the Ori Kalkum this week by doing the weekly, where we have to kill bandits with arrows, staffs and fire. So going to the arena, doing the bandit challenge two times with a staff and the other time with fire arrows will already get you there. And by the way, Testy Claus the Nut is back, but this time with an Izu armor. Like the first time we saw him, he had this regular chest, but I guess he now went to Elysium and got himself some nice Izu loot. So pretty cool that they decided to bring him back, but with some Izu armor. Maybe that will be the case for future mercenaries as well that they will bring back. Because it seems like we will not get any new mercenaries anymore. So this will be another chance to get the Nutcracker with some different stats than the previous time. And I really had no trouble on the Nightmare difficulty. But maybe that was because I now got all the mastery levels on this save. Thanks to the new XP and money farm glitch. So a small update on this. Because I of course made a video on it recently. I will link to it at the end of this video for if you want to check it out. But I know that it does not work for everyone. And that looks to be connected to the XP boost. So if you have an XP booster active and then do the tactic with clicking like the quest two times and then changing the difficulty, you will have a ton of XP. But without the XP booster active, you get this plus minus thing and no good XP at all. And this seems to be for level 99 by the way. So if you are 99 and don't have the XP booster, then you cannot make this work. If you are not 99 and don't have the XP booster, then I saw that it still worked for some people. And that's likely because you can still actually level up instead of earn new mastery levels. Okay, so there are two ways to actually still make this work if you are 99 and don't have the XP booster, apart from buying it of course in the Helix store. One would be to get the XP booster from the Ubisoft Club section of the game if you haven't claimed that one yet. So just go to the rewards and it should be there, but you likely already got that. What you can then do is start a new game plus save. Because the moment you start a new game plus save, you get a new booster if you claim the Ubisoft Club reward. So then you want to pause it and then activate it when you are at the XP and Drag Me Farm 5.0 quest. Then activate it and then you can also get the unlimited ability points to unlock all the mastery levels and become super powerful. Thanks to Kiss by the way for noting this in the chat during my weekly live stream. You still get the maximum drag me by the way by doing this without an XP booster. So it's still worth it if you want the unlimited money. But if you want the XP as well then you need to have an active XP booster. Again I will link to the video with the full explanation at the end of this one. Subscribe for everything Odyssey if you haven't already. Like this video to support the channel. I know a lot of people are asking. Hey do you have any news about Assassin's Creed Vikings the next game? And there is actually something that I want to touch on really really soon. So keep it locked for that. Subscribe subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's go to Sargon because I only need one more Helix store item, one lieutenant before I got everything. Will I get it right now? Let's take a look. How you like my spear Sargon? Yeah? It shines. It's beautiful. You, you why, why, aren't, why aren't you selling it? It would really fit your store. Now we're here for the Olympian gifts. We're here for the lieutenant. One more. Ooh. Yeah, heavy spear, Sargon. That's not the spear of Leonidas. Close though, close though. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> come on, come on. No, no. <laughs> Heracles. We got it. It's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. I will let you live. I will let you live. Don't worry about it. Although I want to use my spear. Either way, that was it. That was the end of it. That was it. I, I got everything. Of course. Full disclosure, I um, yeah I get all the packs. Um, sometimes I buy them, sometimes I get Helix credit from Ubisoft to showcase the pack, but then I give mine away. Um, and right now, 
I got everything. Like, we got a ton from the Olympian gifts. I really think that if you look back, if you're still playing right now, then you can really get a ton of these items through the Olympian gifts if you just kept doing your weekly quest. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty uh, boring, actually, the, uh, the store right now. There's nothing going on. So, subscribe again for Everything Odyssey. I got a new Discovery Mode video up really, really soon and also on about the future of Assassin's Creed. You can check out my previous Discovery Tour video already with like a brief overview of what you can expect and that XP Farm video that is up here on the screen too. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.